Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to really fast and go ahead and update you guys before you jump into Blight League uh, with the new system called Anointing, also known as Oils. We're just going to call this the Oil Guide. Now, I did not make this spreadsheet. You can see the person right over here if you want to give them a thanks in game. So essentially what this is, is this is going to allow you to understand how to get what passive you want from the tree. So let's explain from the basics. Say you are on this passive tree and you wanted to acquire, let's say, bloodletting. Because say you're playing a bleed elementalist that is focusing on the top left of the tree. Don't ask me why, but you really need bloodletting because it's just really required for your build. So with the new system, you are allowed to anoint one, one passive that's, I don't know what it's, I always forget what it's called. It's not a keystone, it's basically like a bigger passive. Um, so let's go ahead and search and show you how you can use the guide. So in this guide, I'm just gonna control F notable, thank you. Bloodletting. You can see bloodletting requires an azure oil, an azure oil, and a silver oil. And you can see here, these are the stats. So if I go to the oil values, remember azure, azure, silver, you can see that azure is down here and silver is down here. So this follows a simple basic Path of Exile recipe where three for one upgrades. So three clear makes a sepia, three sepia makes an amber, three amber makes a verdant and so on and so forth. With this, you can kind of get an idea of what you need essentially to make your piece. Now, um, the more important thing to understand is that at the beginning of the game, I highly recommend if you're new to focus on elemental resistance, uh, since elemental resistance is Usually what gets people killed at the beginning of the game because they not like super beginning But a lot of people don't understand how elemental resistance works It's usually the people who just get one shot all the time and quit playing path of exile like four hours into the game so essentially definitely take a look at the Diamond skin as an example diamond skin is movement speed and elemental resistance actually pretty much perfect for what you would want leveling through the axe is to move quickly um, remember that one way to look at Path of Exile is not necessarily everything has to be damage. You could look at it in the sense of I'm getting resistance here, which means I can now use this really shitty piece of gear that drop that has a great damage on it like a ring. So you get a ring with flat fire, flat lightning, attack speed, but it's got no res on it and you needed res because you're about to go fight piety. Well, you know, things like this can kind of help that. So it's just one thing to look at. I know a lot of people look at these passes and go, they're useless. But remember, there's use in a lot of stuff. So, for example, even getting like like a 30 dex node or a 30 strength node, this basically just saves you a passive point on the tree. So if you're level 18, you're basically like level 19. So it kind of just helps you a little bit. So take that into account when you're learning the progression of these oils, especially for like solo self-found, uh, because they will help you quite a bit. And remember, I believe you can only anoint amulets and the new, some of the new uniques that are coming out tied to the Blight League. Uh, and then you just have another way to look at it via Flattened, and then, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So I'll have this posted for you guys in the comments below, so feel free to go ahead and use it to your heart's content. Can we see how many people are looking at this? Re rings as well. No, I'm pretty sure rings are only for the, uh, the uh, towers, not for anointing actual notables i got it there and also to just see the most expensive oil let's just scroll all the way down none other than soul of steel because it's nuts because it gives plus one max all res and five percent physical mitigation anyway though i'm gonna catch you guys all later hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves in the blight league or are enjoying yourselves uh, remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.